Hey y'all, Phil here, metal detecting RVer. I just want to take a quick moment, make a quick video here about uh, removing my rear view mirror from the inside of the RV. Now, the chassis comes with a rear view mirror installed. Uh, I guess they ship the chassis around for different uh, uh, functions, different uh, places build different things on these chassis. So, since it's an RV and the back end is closed, you can't see out the back anyway, you've got your two side mirrors. Uh, to me, it seemed just a, a hindrance, it was kind of in the way. You're sitting there and you're driving and your mind uh, is trained to watch the rear view mirror so you, you kind of keep doing one of these numbers and checking out the rear view mirror and it's just distracting when there's nothing there to see. And it's kind of in the way a little bit for, with the overhang of the, uh, the top and everything. So, to me, I wanted to remove it. I looked at YouTube, looked at all the videos on on how to do it and this and that and so forth. And there's tools you can buy from anywhere from $20 to $40. And, and uh, so what I did was went to our local Ford dealership and walked in, talked to the service manager, told him that I'd like it removed and, you know, didn't want to crack the windshield or anything. And he said, uh, well, bring it by and I'll see what I can do. And, and uh, I was willing to pay, you know, five, ten bucks to get it removed as opposed to having to buy a twenty to forty dollar tool. So uh, he came out there and looked at it. Took him about ten seconds with his little tool that he had to get up under there and pop it out. And uh, didn't charge me a thing. So I thought that was that was really good. Now the only thing I have to do is is remove the little metal piece, which I'll show you inside. So, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, what I did was, like I said, I went to the Ford dealership place. The guy got inside here with his little tool. Looks like a big screwdriver, or the end of it was bent a little bit, narrowed down on the tip. And he stuck it right in the bottom, just pried a little bit, and boom, off she came. Like I said, it took about... 10 seconds, less, you know, less than 10 seconds to get it off. And so now it's off and I can get rid of it. So I don't have that, you know, in my view. Now, next thing I have to do is take off this little uh, bracket right here. And did some research on, on uh, YouTube, of course, before I, I started all this. And YouTube, you know, had quite a few videos on how to get the rear view mirrors off and they ranged anywhere from sticking a, an allen wrench up under there to a, a small uh, straight slot screwdriver up under there you know various different things and, and uh, they said you know you could crack the windshield and stuff so I didn't want to do that that's why I took it to the Ford place and he didn't charge me a thing took it right off just I mean quick so now I've got to get uh, uh, what they said was a propane, not a lighter, but a small propane torch, which I've got, and I'll show you in a minute, and uh, turn it on and heat up the tab here, this little metal tab. Once it gets hot, it'll loosen the glue, and then you'll be able to take that, uh, that right off. So let's uh, get the equipment out, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, first thing you need is a little uh, propane torch. Now the YouTube videos I saw said don't use a lighter, it doesn't get hot enough. But this is a little uh, propane torch that I got at a uh, local auto parts store. And uh, watch which auto, start, auto parts store you go to. I went to one and they had this little torch and it was $16. So I said, well, it seems expensive, but I'll, I'll get it. So I went ahead and bought it, and then I started reading the package. Of course, I should have read the package before, but and it said you got to have the propane because it doesn't come with propane. So they didn't have any propane at the store, at that auto parts store. So I said, well, okay, I, I'll get it later. So I returned it. They gave me my money back and everything, and I left. Well, a few days later, I was down, going down the road, and there was an auto zone. 
So I says, let me see if they have that torch. So I zipped in the auto zone and uh, got in there, this, got this torch there at the auto zone. And they had the propane to, to fill it with. But <laughs> what shocked the heck out of me was at that first auto parts store, and I'm not going to say what the name was, but they wanted $16 for this thing. At the auto zone, this was only six bucks. So the huge different, a terrible, terrible markup on the thing. So anyway, uh, everything I've ever wanted vehicle-wise, AutoZone has always had it for me. So that's the that's the auto parts store that I generally use. So take this propane torch, I'm gonna light it up, I'm gonna heat up this little bracket here. Theoretically, it should heat the glue behind it and then this thing will just pop off. And they said to be sure to put towels down because this thing obviously is going to get real hot and if it falls on your plastic dash or something, it'll, it'll leave a mark on your dash. So I got two towels down here to uh, catch it. So first propane comes just like a, you know, you'd get for your propane lighter. So it just goes in the bottom, fills right up. So. Let's give this thing a shot. I got a little uh, plastic putty knife here to kind of pry it off with when it gets gets loose. So, let's give it a shot. He said, all you want to do is heat the bracket. You don't want to heat the windshield. Just the bracket. And then the bracket, of course, heating the bracket since it's metal, will soft the glue behind it. You can see the flame coming out there and just hitting the bracket. Maybe I need a little bit higher flame. Try that, a little bit higher flame. Yeah, that's better. I don't want to reach up there and touch that bracket and see if it's hot. It'll burn the heck out of me. Got the window shade on the outside here to kind of block out some of that sun. I didn't want it to be all washed out in here. Light. Just like that. You saw it. Just popped right off. Yeah, I'd say that window got hot, melted the tip of the uh, spatula thing here. Well, that fortunately landed on the, yeah, it is hot. It did a little scorch mark on the towel. I don't know if you can see it, but, but anyway, successful. Now, let me uh, lock this thing. Okay, lock. Cap on it says. There we go. What it said to do next is take a, uh, a single edge razor blade. I couldn't find any single edge razor blades. So hopefully I got the next best thing here. I got some uh, knives for uh, box cutters. said be sure to use a new blade when you do this so it uh, doesn't scratch up the window with pitting the windshield and stuff. Thing's still hot. Squirts the other blanket too, or towel too. Bug juice that there on the outside, yeah.
more stuff on there from the from the putty knife than than there was from the uh, <laughs> from the mirror. That's it. That's it, all removed. So now, it's still a little warm right there, but uh, didn't crack it or anything, we're good to go. So now I can uh, mount my my uh, GoPro up there for getting uh, scenes out the front and so forth. So, that's it. Real easy to do. That thing is still hot, still scorching the towel. All right. So until next time, travel safe, be safe, drone safe, happy hunting, good luck, and uh, feel like